for a couple of months. I've had some water building up near my toilet. And uh, I've been in a towel for a while, but it's time to fix it. So uh, first thing I did was I uh, shut the water off. Uh, shut off out. Flushed all the water out of the toilet. And then I took off the bolts that hold the toilet down on both sides, this side and this side. Got the same bolt. And now I'm going to pull the toilet off. All right, so I got the toilet off. And I'm definitely seeing some moisture here coming out of the bowl. I'm going to look at the bottom of the toilet, see exactly what it looks like. This is a, looks like a wax imprint. Uh, so we're going to have to figure out what to replace uh, this with. First thing I'm going to do is empty all the water into the tub, turning it over or to its side, just so we can get a look at the bottom of this toilet to see what replacement mechanisms we can use for the seal here. Um, either we can use a wax ring or there are some alternatives. One is complete rubber alternative. No more ring, no more wax ring, just rubber. And the other one is a it's a combination of the two. So I'd like to see what the bottom of the toilet looks like before making that decision. First, let's do a little cleaning. Get out the toilet a bit, and then we'll get to the fitting. So I cleaned around uh, the main area that I'm gonna be working with. I mean, I can clean up everything, but the most important thing is just to have the area that you're working with to be clean so the seal is tight and uh, maybe around the sides when the toilet's put back down um, it's you know clean clean look um, okay so this is the rubberized option that'll go right there and this bottom part will go right into the hole we're gonna have to clean up the wax that's there. Before we do, uh, this is the rubberized option, and this is the combination of the two. It actually doesn't look like it fits so well. This other one. Um, this one also has a wax ring. It's like a combination rubberized and wax ring. I guess it does fit. The regular rubberized fits better. And the pressure of the toilet will keep it all together. That's the idea. Um, hmm. Same here. When I guess when the toilet goes down on this, it creates a seal. Uh, straight onto the floor right there. Now, as you can see, not just does wax eventually get hard and create gaps, but it also leaves a terrible mess. All of this is because of wax. Having a rubberized option also is a cleaner, it's a cleaner uh, long term solution. So, this is just to just scrape up the wax. Uh, when, when I'm going to do that and continue once that's done. Now you don't want anything going into the hole to clog it, especially wax doesn't fall apart the same way number two does. So once you clear out the basic wax from inside this center hole, or even find, find something you could stuff in here, towel, something that will prevent anything from falling in. 
while you're working. Here I am trying to wet wax. So I decided to go with this option. And the reason is because it's one solid piece and once it's put in, it pushes down into the pipe directly on the pipe itself and the wax creates a better seal for water that it shouldn't corrode the pipe. I feel like I'd like to give this option a try first and see if it'll work. Um, and it's also one solid piece versus this one that had two pieces. Um, although I'm sure that it, the two pieces are probably dependent on how, how far your toilet is off the floor. Um, you know, so if you have a high toilet, you use two pieces. If you've got a medium size, you use one. If you've got a low, you know, toilet's very close to the floor, you just use a lower piece. I felt like this was a little flimsy too. Um, and although I'm sure it will work fine, I really just want to do this once, you know, for the lifetime, uh, you know, for a long time, let's just say. So I want to go with the option that appears to be stronger and cre going to create a more permanent um, and realistic seal. So I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to try it and see how it goes. I cleared around the side, most important part. I'm going to scrape this a little bit better with a sponge. didn't have one in front of me, so I just cleared as best as I could. Most of this is going to be covered by the toilet, so it's not important to make it look so perfect. Um, now let's put the toilet back on. Now I'm going to try to, uh, yeah, put the toilet back on. So I put this in. Uh, this piece pops out uh, after it's all pushed in. See all the wax is all in there. Um, the toilet wasn't sitting flat, it kept going back and forth before I took it out, it was flat on the floor, so I thought it might be there was two extra spots over here for screws. See how the side pieces protrude here, it protruded up, I cut that off, I cut it off on this side, I'm going to see if that solves the problem, go from there. All right. Option two, I put the lower ring on because it seemed like the plastic from the previous one was too thick. So I figured if I had a thick ring on, it would be too much to bear. I left a lot of the wax in underneath to create a seal. Um, and, you know, it goes through the screws. Uh, there's two spots where the screws go through and the toilet will just sit right on top. Let's tighten the... Uh the bolts with the uh, new rubberized placement for the waxer and uh, the toilet's pretty firm in place. It's not shaking. I'm tending even some more. Turn the water back on. It's filling up slowly. I did it uh, it's looking on it slightly just to make sure there's no leaks. Now that it's, I see that it's fine. And there's no leaks, gonna increase the flow. And we're gonna test it a few times and go from there. So, uh, turns out that the rubber guy we put on was still leaking. This one, when we put it on, it was still leaking. So, um, I went back to the uh, original one that I decided on, and this time I tightened the toilet so it wouldn't wobble. Uh, and so far, it looks like the original one, the full rubberized one with the wax, you know, the combination wax rubber, the solid one piece rubberized one. This seems to be a much better, uh, seems to be the solution. Uh, now it seems like there's no leak here. 
um, when I put this one in, maybe because it's a little flimsy or it's multiple pieces, it just didn't stop the leak, didn't close the gap. So we're going to see how this plays out, this uh, solid one piece one, and come back and check it tomorrow and uh, hopefully we've solved the problem.